Continuing with Verik Aleph, Halacha Hey. Hagoras Maimonis brings down the Shittas Rabbeinu Tam. The Shittas are Achoi. The Chovas and Pesach is brought to Bashishim, just like any other Yisurin in the Torah, because they weren't, they didn't have the text in a Rova that says Chovas is also a Mashu, but rather like the Rif that the Kaiser Mishnah brings without it. But that goes my mind, it brings down the name of the smag that all the goinim passing like rover. The chomet is also a mashu, and I mean, Tam himself, you know, he's from Valley Toysvis, did not want to be lenient, and therefore, even if it, a chita fell into a uh, into a, a chicken that was cooked on Pesach, he didn't permit it because of the shishim, but he said you could leave it till after Pesach. <clears throat> from Bobel, they sent that they had texts that were from the times of the Gemara, from Ravashi, who finished the Gemara, and it says that it's also a mashu. Of the Ezra of Mitz writes that Chomets is also a mashu only when it's mixed with liquid. But if it's dry, if we find Chomets on meat, for example, or something that's roasted, or matzah that's hot, then you just have to eliminate the spot that's there according to how much you think the chomets went into it in something that's dry. Furthermore, he is machadish that the din, that over everything that gets mixed in heta, if it's not gives a tam pogum, the tam after a day or two becomes, a day, after a day becomes pogum, it's no longer tasty. This, it's not also, it's only with an isu that you deal with the tam, which is shishim. However, chometz, just a mashu, then it's also even when a tam pogum. <coughs> he brings proof to this opinion from Ravim Sochim, who says that vessels that one cooked in them, chometz on Pesach, should be broken. So the Gemara says, after Pesach, uh, let him use it because uh, he can put into it a different type of item, and that will nullify the taste of chometz. And the Gemara answers, Gzeira, it's an edict, maybe it'll come to Mivashal in Ekdeira with the same min, that it, the same type that he was Mivashal on Pesach. And chometz of Minoy, even not on Pesach, is also Oisav Amashu. We go to Amut 41, go down to the Ramamamea, and if Tam pogum of chomet doesn't ask so. Why does the Gemara ask you should do it with the Kedera after Pesach? Even when in Vashel, in the next day, he cooked it, it's Tam pogum. So you see that even Tam pogum remains after Pesach. And it's not like the other Yisurim with Tam pogum, which is mixed with Heta, does not forbid it. It brings further that Rabbein Yehuda says in the name of Rabbein Tam. And so the Rav Yor writes in the same name of the Rivo. That every place where the noise of the palm is muta, it's muta a filo bechomet to Pesach. Maham Rottenberg permitted it, town of Gamma Pesach, but for himself he did not allow it to be given to him. Furthermore, the Agos Maimonis brings down that if chomet was mixed with the head to be for Pesach, and it was 16 against the Isur, uh, we don't say that chometz is choyz and vanir, it should be also a Pesach, because it was before Pesach was already bought, bottled. Because with Pesach, it's a chometz is b'mashu. And he brings a raya from the Mishnah. Tzema, you don't say because it, that even though it's b'mashu, because we not, for, no, by klayim, you can't mix wool and linen. However, the wool of gemalim and the wool of sheep, they got mixed together. And if the majority is wool of camels, then... It, if they, it got them mixed together uh, with linen, it's muta because you don't worry about klayim. But tzemek malam and pishtim is not klayim. And when they get mixed together with tzemek malam or chelem yachat, and the majority is in gemalim, it's muta with the pishtim. That even though the tzemek of pishtim is also, however, even if it's b'mashu, even if you have a drop of of one strand of wool in a linen garment or vice versa. Still, since before that it was bottled in the camel's wool, therefore 
the it doesn't apply. It once it's bottled, it's as if it's not there, and we don't worry about it. And therefore, also that was salted before Pesach, and they didn't have very, have a mashgiach, and they weren't sure if there was chametz around, and also cheese that was made, that they, they would make it for six months, and they weren't didn't weren't careful about chametz, and so it was bottled before Pesach. It's not choyz of but once you be careful on meat that was salted, you should wash it off first, lest there be any actual chametz on it, so that when he cooks it, it would become also bemashu. We go to Omid 42, we go down to the Ramam Ameir, and the Machabe says, as far as Aloha goes, chametz on Pesach is, uh, forbids all of its mixtures, whether it's of the same type, whether it's a different type. Even Bano, the Ramah says, you have to burn it totally. The Mishnah Brewer says, Midarai Sochom is Dino Kishai Yisun, that it got mixed with other mixtures, which would be 60 times as much, would nullify it. For a few reasons. It has chorus. Also, a whole year one does not separate himself from it, and therefore he can make a greater mistake. It's not like fats, which are forbidden, or Nevelo, which hasn't been slaughtered. That person won't eat it anyway a whole year. But since chametz we're used to, we have to be more careful. And there are others who say the reason is because you can wait till after Pesach. So it's a dova sheyesh lematir, and after Pesach, that's the sheet of Sarambam. And what the Rama, what the Mechaber writes, the chametz is oisa, forbids the, the mixture of mashu. The Mishnah Bura says, but if there are other reasons to be lenient, we rely on it. And what the Shilta said, the Chomets of Pesach is only Beshishim. The Muramah adds, the, the vessels that you cooked in them, Chomets, are mut after Pesach. And you don't have to break them, or to even uh, cash them. Even if you use them on Pesach itself with the Chomets of Yisrael. And the Mishnah Buru explains why are they muta? Because the tam which, is, which is within them is, is, is tainted. And you don't make a xero lest he do it on the same day because Hamid itself after Pesach if the time is no longer valid then we don't worry about it and that's no you never see people cash a kalim after Pesach you just put them away and, I, and you don't use them on Pesach Mechaba continues the din of its mixture is the din like any other mixture that it's uh, just that but it's also B'Sha'at HaRub it's less than a Shishim the chometz is b'mashu, but if you have shat haruvos, if other mixtures would be muta without shishim, such as when it only touched it rather than was cooked with it, and it was hot, then by chometz you can do the same thing, because if it's hot and hot without any liquid to cause it to go into the item that it's touching, it would be muta. Now we turn the page. And we come to the Machaba says, Chomet is Ar Mishay Shoy Salamalo. Chomet has got mixed from Erev Pesach until at night. It's not also a Mashu, but rather it's like in every other Yisro. Meaning, he holds like the Rosh that the Gezer Mishnah brings down, and that he assumes that the Ramam is of the same opinion that only on Pesach do you say Mashu. But the Magan Mishnah brings down the thought that even according to the Rambam, Chomets from Sheisho Yisrael is also a mashu. The Mishnah Brewer explains that since there's no chi of chorus on eating it of Erev Pesach, like we learned before, they weren't machmer be mashu. And the same thing replies to Noisim Down of Gam, they weren't machmer to make it also on Erev Pesach. To be alocha is medayik from the from the Shulchan Aruch, that even it was mixed with the same type of substance, from six hours, it's bottled with shishim. And chometz is not, because in chometz is not considered something that's going to be permissible after Pesach, because in the next year, it will become also again the next Pesach. But the Ramam is of the opinion that chometz is considered something sheyesh lematir. Now the Shulchan Aruch, Paskins, the chometz that was in, got mixed on Pesach itself, and it gives a bad taste, it, everything is muta. The Ramah writes, there are those who are machmir, who are stringent, and we don't do so. In Ashkenaz, and we are one stringent, 
even a mashu is also, and the same applies to a taste which is impaired. Mamshu, the Mechava continues, after Pesach, where the Chometz was mixed before Pesach and Pesach passed, where the Chometz was, was mixed on Pesach and all of Pesach went, ba- went by, or Pesach passed on the Chometz and it got mixed after Pesach, it's always brought to Bishishim. The Mishnah Bura says, you need Shishim only when it's wet with wet. But when it's mixed, as we said before, uh, with, with something that's dry, then you don't need Shishim, even two pieces of matzah, which is which is not also from Pesach, with Chometz would be Muta. The Mishnah Bura adds, but the Merchava writes, that it got mixed before Pesach, it's Muta after Pesach, it's Muta Ba'ano, but not Ba'achilo. Because the time of is he tasting chometz, he's actually tasting chometz. And he adds, but the Mahabha writes that the chometz was in extent on Pesach and it got mixed after Pesach, it's, it's nullified by Shishim, as only according to the Torah. But many posts can disagree, and once the chometz is in Zara Lacha Pesach, it's enough roiv that they didn't forbid chometz that was mixed after Pesach when the majority is permitted, and therefore the Chacham didn't make an edict. And the right, when there's a great loss, one can be made from. When we turn the page, we come to Perik Alav which we'll learn in the next Shia Mitzvah